And good evening, everyone. Happy Friday night headed into the weekend. A nice Saturday afternoon and then colder air comes plunging in here. Watch it driving south. The temperature is falling into the 30s by 10 o'clock tomorrow night. So if you're headed out for dinner for Valentine's Day tomorrow night, make sure you take a coat with you, even if it's mild when you leave the house. By Sunday morning, the temperatures are below freezing everywhere except for places like McAllister and other areas down to the south. We have clear skies right now. The temperature sits at a cool 46 degrees. The winds are calm, and so it feels like it's 46 degrees. The dew point right now right around 28 degrees. 39 at uh, Collinsville, 39 at Owasso, 49 at Sand Springs, 37 over at Catoosa, 48 at Jenks, and 42 at Bixby. That's the next plunge of cold air that's going to push in behind that front tomorrow and it'll start to move in overhead on Sunday. And that'll be just out to our east, feeding us some drier air, and it may have an impact on the path of the wintry precipitation that we see move across the region. And I'll talk about that here in just a second. But right now, the temperatures anywhere from 51 at Oklahoma City, 31 at Coffeyville, and 48 at Durant. All right, so there's the high Sunday morning at 6 a.m. We're dry. In fact, the sun might be out early Sunday morning. So if you go to church, you're OK. You're OK really up right through 1, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock even. And even in Tulsa, I don't think we're going to see anything. Believe it or not, anything. I mean, there could be a sleep pellet, but I mean, anything of significance, not going to happen. Down here to the south, though, notice in Muskogee County, down toward McIntosh County, now we get into Pittsburgh County, we just a little bit, a little bit of light rain, maybe some freezing drizzle. And then it picks up an intensity. Now, I am concerned about Pittsburgh County, uh, McAllister over toward LaFleur County, Poto and Sequoia County, and Salisaw. Those areas there could get some heavier sleet and freezing rain. Sunday late afternoon, Sunday evening, Sunday night into Monday morning. You can see it transitions over to that pink and that sleet. And this is accumulating sleet and accumulating uh, freezing rain. So we may have some issues down to the south. So stay tuned over the weekend. Tap Price and Brittany Rainey will bring you up to date. And if this thing can shift away a little bit farther, that'd be good news for the folks south and east of Tulsa. But here, as we head into Monday, we have just clouds. And the latest data takes all the snow around south of us and we get nothing on Tuesday in terms of snowfall. So the timing on all this is Sunday late afternoon to around daybreak Monday. Again, it's going to be south and southeast of Tulsa. Minor sleet accumulations north of Interstate 40, south of Interstate 40, particularly Poto, McAllister. You're going to have some heavier sleet accumulations there. Most roads are going to be fine. The exception would be south of I-40. Today's high 62 degrees. The average high 53, 31, the average low, and we were a little bit below that this morning. All right, here's the next 24 hours. A cold start tomorrow morning, 33 degrees. Climbing fast, though, all the way to the low to mid 60s by noon. A lovely afternoon still at 4 p.m., but look at that temperature by 7 p.m. It's down to 46 degrees. We've got a sharp drop as temperatures fall to 29 already by 2 a.m. Here's the seven day forecast. Look for temperatures down to about 25 Sunday morning, 35 Sunday afternoon. The Tulsa area, just a 30% chance of precipitation. Another way to look at that, Karen, there's a 70% chance we don't see anything. So it's really going to be farther south and east. Then 16 Monday morning, President's Day, but most of the kids are off school. So the bus stops, I think, unaffected by that. Mm -hmm. But if you have to work outside, you'll want to bundle up in those Carhartts. 41 Monday afternoon, 40 on Tuesday, back up close to 50 by Wednesday. Multiple layers, but boy, those odds sound really good. Yeah, for us. Now down to the south, they need to che check in over the weekend because it could get a little a little rough in Poto, McAllister, and place in Salisol down to the southeast. Good time to have your mobile app with you mm -hmm. on your phone. Really like that. All right.